Okay, this is the uh, September 4th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. Uh, we're being videotaped by uh, Frontier Community Access Television for viewing by our residents and the public later. <laughs> We, we okay now? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, first item on the agenda is the minutes for the August 20th meeting. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Yeah, there is a correction. Uh, in the old business, Article 5, reporting the vote of the select board. Two. What is yeah. that? Is that a two to one? The raise and appropriate. That yeah. was two zero one. The two two zero one. Yes. Okay. On account of I abstained. Okay. Yeah, I apologize for letting that slip through. Thank you. Okay. Any other any other corrections or amendments to the minutes? I think fine. Okay. I'll make a motion that we, we um, uh, approve the minutes as amended. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Next item on the agenda is uh, our warrants. We have a vendor warrant for $157,368, a payroll warrant for $85,798, and a payroll deduction warrant of $21,618. I'll make a motion that we approve those warrants. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. Phil? Yes, was that... Uh the confab with uh, with Furcog Joe um, in the Joe frontier in, in the frontier okay. uh, renovation committee, um, and Furcog Joe has got quite the uh, program cooked up or that recommended, and I, um, Bob is there as well. Is but it's basically a ten-year program that creates it just um, with a set amount. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think it was a very impressive. I'm really impressed with that guy. Joe, Joe like, worked for DOR for 20 years. Wow. I mean, we're, we're lucky to have him at Turcotte. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so he had a 10 year schedule of what it, what it would cost for each of our towns mm -hmm. and looking at different ways of funding this mm -hmm. very large expenditure for Frontier. And as we talked about it, he could sit there and change it right in yes. real time and we would see how it changed. It was very good. Good. We think right. from the way that that was set out that front Con Conway's overall assessment will be relatively unchanged during that time period. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be able to sketch that out when it comes up before us, but uh, it was right where I thought it should be. So they're going to be having right. one more meeting, is it this week, next week? Yeah, or it's next it's yeah. Thursday. Uh, um, Basically, to try to nail it down to say this is what we really recommend this group mm -hmm. uh, before the first Frontier School Committee meeting. Okay. That's the goal. Okay. Any others, Phil? No. Okay. And that's the meeting I went to, too. Okay. I didn't have any. Wow. Slow summer. It was a slow last two weeks. It's good. Okay. Uh, public comments. Okay. I don't see any members of the public here, so I don't think we have any comments. Old business. Tom, special town meeting, review warrant, articles, and recommendations. Do we need to do that? Uh, just a few comments. I got okay. uh, comments back from town council on the uh, marijuana, proposed marijuana bylaw. Yeah. And um, one of his comments uh, was taken care of. Uh, there were three others. One, uh, he was concerned that um, there's a section that grants the police department the authority to prescribe the uh, brightness of the lighting at the at a marijuana site because it's um, it's lumped in with security features, okay. uh, and he thought that um, that actually should be spelled out in the bylaw by the planning board or at least maintain the authority to spell that out by the planning board. Okay. Uh, he also noted the other two were just notes uh, that that would, it has a couple of features that would um, depress the enthusiasm of marijuana businesses for coming into town. One is uh, limiting the size to 10,000 square feet, and one of them is uh, the, the method for renewing the host community agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and uh, having a new host community agreement is legally problematic because the way the law it reads um, at first sight is that you have one and it lasts for five years. Um, so this would go beyond that. He's not sure that'll pass muster by the attorney general. So th those were his comments on the uh, on the bylaw. So those will be incorporated into their mm -hmm. discussion uh, when they have their hearing a uh, week before the special town meeting. Okay. Now, now we got we got our guidance on that bylaw from FERCOG. Yeah. And FERCOG has been back and forth with the attorney general on that. So uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that that's that's tight. And and I don't. I don't know whether that particular aspect came from the FERCOG or not, because the, mm -hmm. the planning board did amend it considerably for Conway. So they didn't they take it verbatim from A relatively Furcog. small town. There, there was a template. It was yeah. intended to be, okay. you know, flexible that way. So we, we kind but. of fashioned it for ourselves, huh? and we may have overstepped our bounds. Well, okay. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait for their discussion on that. They. Uh, one of the other things that they had was uh, they, the the planning board had uh, had correct. And okay. So did, um, did uh, Jack uh, talk to Joe and Mary on that, Tina? I don't know. Okay, maybe we should have them get together. On that before well, we... well, he sent in his oh, okay. his comments, and they okay. replied, taking one out of play, and okay. so they they received them. Okay. They, it, it hadn't gone back and forth, but they did receive. Them. All right. Doesn't sound like anything substantial. Though. No. Okay. All right. Anything else we need to review on? So, does can, what's the process if they want to incorporate those suggestions into the one before town meeting? Uh, can they make changes now? Is the is it sealed in oil, uh, whatever? Is we can make amendments on the floor. Well, yeah. there's going to be the hearing. Yeah, it's going to be. And based hearing. on the hearing, the planning board may make mm -hmm. comment, may make changes, and they'll come with an alternative motion. And they'll explain all the changes they made as the result of the public hearing. I expect that these concerns will be brought up as in in that public hearing as well. And that they'll they can make changes and they'll they'll present a you know here's our here's our new version and here's the, here's the difference between what's in here and what's in the in the warrant. So that's a common thing to do for them. I mean, they didn't make these. They didn't just pick ones at random. They, they didn't pick ten thousand square feet for at random, whatever. They just they, they that's they determined that that's the size. That they don't want to see anything bigger than that. I guess all, all of the things were were discussed at planning board meetings. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they had some guidance on that. But they knew they were lowballing because they also knew that. Conway, most Conway residents probably aren't aware of the fact that there is no size limit. <laughs> and they wanted to um, err, I think, there on the side of not uh, having somebody wake up with a 10,000 square foot building as a neighbor. Okay. Anything else on that? Uh, no, except we will have to clarify um, that the select board recommendation on Article 5 didn't fact include an, uh, an abstention. Right. Okay. We can do that on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next item on the agenda, new business. We have the Highway Department request for Chapter 90 project approval for Main Poland and North Poland Roads. Ron, you're up. All right. <clears throat> well, looking to try to make the roads better out there. And, um, I got two requests. Basically, it's a reclamation full depth reclamation with a two and a half inch dense binder um, asphalt put down like we've been doing on the roads, trying to make them, trying to get as much money out of them, as much road work done out of the money that is available. So this is all of Main Poland and North Poland? No, we, North Poland, it is what is... 6,200 six, six, yeah. It's basically what hasn't been done out there mm -hmm. on North Poland, and then Main Poland is what hasn't been done on the blacktop section from North Poland out. You're not paving over dirt road, though. No. Yeah. No, from North Poland out. This winter really took a toll on 
the road out there. Um, and it, I, it's the only way I can see fit to not waste a bunch of money by trying to fix it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I was hoping that Hoosick Road will come next, but we got too much yeah, to so do with that road before we can do anything. Ball. So mm -hmm. hopefully we can do that in the spring, but. And uh, I'll, I'll just mention that, um, as I've been saying occasionally, but now for several years, we don't get enough money to maintain our blacktop roads as efficiently as we mm -hmm. should. Um, and Paul Ron is doing his best to maintain them with the resources we have. Mm -hmm. It may be necessary at some point to stop maintaining um, certain roads or parts of roads and uh, focus on making a, a certain amount of blacktop road uh, really good mm -hmm. uh, or at least you know with the two and a half inches um, it would be great to put down a, a two inch uh, base too but uh, we don't have the money to do that well it is no. this is the yes. this is the binder course we're just oh, not okay. topping it yeah that's why we use the dense binders because it seals it better because they mix a little sand in mm -hmm. so the stones aren't so prevalent <laughs> so of these two that so the one main There's, poland road is, is 188,000 yes and north poland road is 144,000 Right. How much of that is the state going to reimburse us for? It's all of it. All, all of it. It's chapter all ninety. Yeah. It's all chapter ninety. There is other work that we will be doing. In a, so, you know, two of them roads. So, why are you? Uh, I heard you say that you're only doing the dense binder. That if you had your druthers, it would be another layer on top, or something like. I, I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. Ba well, I'm botching it terribly. I'm sorry, most, I apologize. But typically, most people do a binder course and a top course. You know, a finer, it doesn't have as big as stones in it, so it's smoother. It's, um, that's why we use the dense binders, because it actually, they put sand in it to fill the voids. Um, it's also done so that the water doesn't penetrate the road. All right, so uh, We're not I'm doing, asking really stupid questions. No, I no, apologize, no. but um, uh, the, if, it's, if, if it's re getting reimbursed, why aren't we doing everything that because we only have a certain amount of chapter 90 money so we're doing more length in order to try to keep up with the pavement that we have which i'm just reminding again everybody ultimately we won't be able to keep up with all the pavement we have if current trends continue but um this is the most paving we can get done that will last for a certain period of time. In four or five years, we'll, we'll probably have to put the top the coat, top coat on. on. Hopefully okay. by then, it's just usually you do an inch and a half of top coat. So my plan is to do the dense binder. And when, before the road starts deteriorating, then okay. go back. Will driving on it help it? Doesn't hurt it. A lot of towns are starting to do it this way to make better roads so hopefully in four or five years when we go back to do the top pretty much all of Poland area will get a top done at the, all at the same time so what did we get in chapter 90 last year 260 some thousand 64 67 somewhere in there yeah. but that those two are more than that but we can bank it. We, we banked some of it from years before. Yeah. before. And, and hopefully the MMA is pushing for a $300,000, $300 million reimbursement of Chapter 90 monies rather than the $200 million that they're doing now. But they do that in the same formula with like they do with Chapter 70 where rich no, towns no, just it, get richer and no, it, we don't get any higher percentage. Well, it depends than, on the amount of roads you have. We have a lot of roads. Well, it depends on income and all that stuff too. Yeah. There's a lot of things that go yeah. into the formula. We yeah. don't do terribly bad for the amount of roads that we have. Mm -hmm. And I, 
I wasn't going to mention this until it, we actually had it, but there is a chance that we'll get another uh, 50 million or so because mm -hmm. uh, supplemental there, budget. There's a, there's a supplemental budget yeah. which is raising the statewide by 40 yeah. million, which is. Um, did I say million? You thousand. did. Uh, thousand. Something here puzzled. Fifty thousand. We'll get another fifty thousand. Well, yeah. No. Fifty million would help a lot. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. you for the whole state. No. <laughs> yeah. No. no. Yeah. There's an election coming up. <laughs> no. Yeah. Sorry. So. Fifty thousand. Um, it's forty million for the state, which is a fifth of the two hundred million. So a fifth of what we got would be roughly fifty thousand. So we may or may not get that. Um, we. Those sorts of decisions have been put off till after Labor Day, which is now. So we will be hearing about it soon. And I didn't want to like get people's hopes up and then say, "Oh, it didn't happen." But since we're in the discussion, it could happen, and that would that would give us fifty thousand to bank for future projects. Yeah, and we did apply for a grant, a scrap grant for Shelburne Falls Road to do mm -hmm. two miles. I mean. Uh, 20,000 feet, four miles of that road if we can, hopefully we get that grant. Ready for the buckle on the line? No, no, I wanted we to already go. already did that. <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> no, it'd be for Buckland's me. Gonna, Buckland got their grant to do up to Conway, so mm -hmm. that will be getting better. Oh, good. We should have got the that year 20 years ago we for got that road. Bridge. Oh, good. So you <laughs> have that, yeah. Any other questions for no. Great. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Thank, right. you for the, um, thank you for the chapter 90 education. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make a motion that we approve both of these requests from Ron uh, to uh, to pave uh, North Poland Road and Main Poland Road. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Right. Okay. You need three signatures on this, right? At least two. At least two. And. We only have, on each of these, we only have Mike's signature one time. Yeah, I know, I screwed up. So I have to get okay. him to... Okay. But we're all one line. No. Or, or just find room where there's room. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, yeah just, just... But you have to sign here, both here. copies. Yeah, yeah. 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 As I told you before, Matthew's road is looking great. That's good. We got things straightened out with the paving contractor, and good. they came and fixed what they said they would. They fixed good. that wavy bit. It's just, it's not great, but it's better than it was. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So we tried to get as much out of them as we could. To. Okay. All right. They seem to be pretty cooperative. Once, once we had a face-to-face -face with them. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you, Ron. Much. Thank Thanks you. for coming Thanks, in. Have a good night. Thanks. You too. Okay. Next item on our agenda is to appoint the garage committee. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have to appoint Ken We Met, Ron Sweet, Liv Wyatt, Tom Brogel, Walter Goodrich, and Jerry. Axelson, the garage committee. Well, it's, it's great to see that, that we have a lot of people coming onto the garage committee here. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's good. That's good. And these, these come at uh, the recommendation of, of Ken, who has had experience on this committee, and Ron. Yeah, as Ken well. and Ron, yeah. Okay. Uh, based on the recommendations of uh, Ken Wimet and Ron Sweet, I'll make a motion that we appoint. Uh, these six gentlemen to the highway garage. Uh, I don't committee. know if it's all gentlemen. Yeah, Liv Wyatt. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, um, five gentlemen and a lady to the garage committee for a term ending 6:30-19. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. I'll say yes, even though having an even number on any committee is a recipe for gridlock, but. 
any luck, it'll be a consensus-based process. We're just, you know, over, what, about a month ago, we couldn't get three people right. on the garage committee. Yeah, I guess. So, now the, the more the merrier here. Does that mean you want to be on? No, I, um, <laughs> just there's, there's people that I know on that. I mean, if Walter's on it, he's, that's, can't get any better than that. Yeah. One signature is good? Great. Yes. Yeah. Okay, next item is to sign the agreement with the DEP for the grant for recycling. This is something we do on a regular basis. Um, and this is a, a grant from the state based on the amount of recycling we do. Is that what we receive? Yes. The Board of Health uses that. It's, uh... Who prepared this? The state. Point. Dollar amount includes our waste oil. That is the result of the state. I don't understand this at all. They got a point score for what we uh, for what we yeah and we track you know we we track what we recycle. This is how this is. Part of the thing of you know where they rank towns as to who's who's doing how well. We don't get credit for bulky items. What are those two big dumpsters for for, for bump bulk with with a sign saying bulky items here? You mean mattresses or couches? Yeah, both. Yeah, we don't have enough. I don't know. Well. I mean, it, Maybe, yeah, yeah. That's it. We should be getting credit for bulky. Yeah. This yep. is this is for recyclables. Yeah, I don't understand why they're on the list. And our health department seen this? Oh, yeah. And they approve of it? Oh, yeah. They're dying they, for the money. And they don't uh, think we can money. get anything more? Yeah, no. It's, yeah, my signature. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, it's a, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, vote on it. it's a, uh... Has everybody reviewed this adequately? I'll make a motion that we uh, sign the agreement with DEP for the grant award for recycling. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. You, you have, have to speak it. up yes, if you uh, Yes, I suppose so, yes. <laughs> I, I, I guess I would feel more comfortable if I got to read that in advance and just sit yeah, with it I'm, a little bit. I'm sorry, it's, it's, been a, it's been a gimme for, for years. I didn't uh, even think of it. Sorry, I'll, I'll make sure to do that. Yeah, this is this has been thoroughly reviewed by our health department, our board, board of health. health. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the state says we'd like to give you some money. We say yes. <laughs> That's pretty much. <laughs> we we don't have a we don't have a lot of negotiating power. In this. <laughs> okay. Any items not anticipated forty eight hours in advance of the meeting? I have none. No, good. Okay. Your update, Tom? I'll talk about that in select board comments instead, as per instruction. Oh. There you go. Well, that's why it's there. Yeah. Uh, for committee and board news, the finance committee is meeting with the highway supervisor and K 
Ken were met tomorrow night to review their recommendation on the special town meeting article on the highway garage. I hope they can see their way to revising their recommendation to be more favorable. That will be at 6 o'clock here. Why didn't they come to us and talk to us about it, too? Well, they did last time. They didn't seem to uh, have sufficient information. Uh, town Council has come up with a short list of concerns about the marijuana bylaw. I already mentioned those. Town Planning Board will be considering them. Yeah, I brought that up under uh, the special town meeting item. For departments, the finance team met last Monday to go over the schedule for setting the tax rate. Our intention is to have it set before the special town meeting, September 24th. The assessors are hoping to complete their review evaluations by Monday, September 17th, and we'll be working with the accountant to finish all the necessary work that week so the tax rate can be set prior to the special town meeting. If that is not possible, we would have to amend our submission uh, due to the special town meeting's transfer of stabilization funds, which have to be included in a recap if it's already happened. Mm -hmm. But we're going to try, try very hard to avoid any delay in the tax bill mailing schedule. Uh, as you know, I sent out an uh, initial email about this, but mm -hmm. there's been a lot of news since the water tank at the school was very recently <coughs> relined by Mass Tank Inspection in response to recommendation in the state DEP's five-year inspection plan. Occupants of the building reported a chem chemical smell. Primarily in the hot water, it has also been reported that there is a chemical taste in the cold or drinking water. Frontier staff are reviewing this with both Mass Tank Inspection, who did the relining work, and our water quality consultant, and have been advised that there is not any immediate need for concern. The odors should dissipate as water is flushed through the system. Still, school has started, and they've labeled all the water outlets as not to be used for drinking or cooking until the water is tested again during the consultant's next visit in September. The water should be safe and usable for dishwashing and hand washing. The district has retained Headwaters Consulting, LLC, to review this situation, so a second consultant. Uh, I've pulled the invoice for mass tank inspection until the issue is resolved. The school is supplying bottled water for drinking and cooking at least until we receive the results of the initial test, which should come in tomorrow, and until the odor evident in the water dissipates. Our consultant does not feel that it would be prudent to attempt to reline the tank a second time this coming weekend, as suggested by Mass Tank. That's the situation as it stands. We're waiting for test results, depending on how they come in. Then we either just wait for the odor to dissipate through flushing, or uh, if it doesn't, then we talk to Mass Tank about relining it again. Hmm. But it's going Did to take Mass Tank have any idea why it's doing it? Where the we have not gotten any potential explanation, which is is disturbing to me because they should know everything that can go wrong, sure, and then how to address it. Um, right, I would expect that they would have told us to anticipate it, or you know that this is something that happens in the way they rely it. And uh, I was wondering whether or not we were following the operations and maintenance instructions properly, but. Um, apparently, there's no trouble with that. So, um, well, you would have thought that they would have flushed out the system, you know, before they started drinking the water. It, um, I think, when it was initially filled, it was coming through okay. There were also other problems with sediment that they were they were noticing, um, and it was it was a week or two before the odors really started to be noticed. Oh, um, really? And now the question is, how long will it, will it take for them to dissipate? So we don't know. It could be a chemical reaction to something in the water, a mineral in the water. Yeah. With the lining. It's clearly something to do with the lining. Um, anyway, I'm holding off on the invoice. So they providing water bottles as necessary? or So we're going to have test I results think tomorrow? We're providing the water bottles for now, but it's an item to be talked about, mm. you know, when we get to the end. But Mass Tank was suggesting that we should do it again. 
So they, they wanted to come in and rewind it. At their expense? To d- oh, I assume that would be at their expense, yeah. yes. So this is what I was going to talk about, too, but it just makes sense just mm-hmm. to continue this. Sure, um, sure. So, the, uh, yeah, Mass Tank is, it wants to reline it. Um, our consultant, however, um, uh, says that if... He 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 they, they did uh, he did a bunch of water samples as well. Are you and talking it, about uh, Headwaters Consulting? No, this is Michael water, Lane from is Water our, Pros. Uh, water Pros is our uh, usual consultant for water testing at the okay. school, and and making sure the water system is running properly. He's been involved from the beginning. Okay, and, and we we have Headwaters Consulting to kind of back him up or. Yeah, get an independent yes, review. Exactly. And to interact initially with Mass Tank Inspection and to, uh, to and the regulatory authorities to make sure whatever that that was beyond. Okay. So uh, it, he took a bunch of samples, and yeah, he he's, he's, he approves of our response to the situation so far. He meaning Michael from Water Pro. Michael. Okay. Um, and con- and we should continue doing the bottled water. Um, until at least until the water test or until the odor dissipates, but he's recommending against relining the ta- the tank a second time, as suggested by Mass Tank. Mass Tank is the one who's not getting paid mm-hmm. for their. Uh, Michael, if if we attempted to reline, it would take uh, many weeks of a shutdown to uh, to the, drain the tank, clean the tank, reline the tank, treat the tank, and then flush the tank. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and he feels that at, the, at this point, it's the odor will dissipate quickly through flushing and normal water use. Um, and if it does not, uh, I mean that, that's there's an op- there's a possibility that the water tests quality wise and chemical wise come out okay, uh, but there's still an odor to it, and yeah, people yeah, don't want to yeah. use it. And in yeah. which case, we would have to install a carbon filtration system to improve the. Smell right. and the taste, but all of this comes from being a public water supply. The schools and the DEP. Kind of, I mean, we the the tank was relined as per the DEP's five year plan, mm-hmm. and there was no problems before it was relined. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was no problem. Yeah, this is now now uh, this this uh, regulations. Uh, this this nine five test results is that coming from headwaters? Uh, no, that's our own water pro uh, sending sending his samples in to be tested. Okay, so the school district has retained headwaters. Yes. Okay, and they're going to do their their own result. Okay, because I've, I've I, dealt. I, I don't know the extent of their involvement at this point. I've dealt with Dan Harris from Headwaters Consulting. They, oh, okay. they do a good job. All right. All right. Uh, and in other news, the um, nearest MMA legislative breakfast will be in Sunderland on October 26th. Uh, if any of you have not gotten an invitation, please call or email Alondra Champion at 617-426-722. I didn't get an invitation. I didn't either. Uh, yeah, we, so you usually get a, a, an invite it, it, like a month in advance, six yeah, weeks in it, advance. It, it'll, it'll, it'll be coming shortly. Yeah. It, it will. The um, the initial email went out saying kind of save the date. Um, so I think I think it would be it would be okay to uh, ask. And you, um, you can find on the MMA web, website under events registration for that. So, yeah. And you send in your registration. Yeah. Yeah, they're, uh, uh, and the Festival of the Hills has received their certificate ins- of insurance for the upcoming event with the town as an additional assured. Our accountant has signed it late this afternoon, and uh, so they can sign it now as well. We'll make a copy, and uh, everything's good to go. Um, I note that the FERCOG is going to have a Workshop on succession planning, which seems to be geared to financial staff, mm-hmm. mainly due to the yeah. the governor's report. Yeah. Uh, since Conway's needs are broader, I'm working on a plan specific to Conway, which I will bring to the board after absorbing the FERCOG's information. Okay. Very good. Thank That's you, not Tom. the one that FERCOG Joe's doing. I'm sorry? Joe 
No, no, more, more he's carrying. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's doing another one, a different one. Um, or is that the one that he's succession? doing? Yeah, no, he, he's, I'm, I'm, I'm not, no, he's uh, not doing this one. Um, yeah. Actually, Sean Cronin's coming out. To do this, yeah. Oh, yes. He's, yeah. Okay. Joe's doing one of them, and and I asked him what is he going to be doing. He said I haven't decided yet. I'm still starting to think about it, but that you should sign up. Yeah, he does it. the more the more technical, um, you know, presentations, not not succession plan. I'm going to go to his because I, I find myself actually able to understand what he says, oh, yeah. which is unusual yeah. for me. Oh, he's good. Um, he's good. Yeah. And very complex stuff. Yeah. Okay, we have any comments by select board members? Hearing none? No, I, well, I'll Ooh, make one. Oh, I'll make one. So, want, just so to make a comment. minor comment, but okay. so um, two days from now, on Thursday, there's going to be a meeting in Pelham where Karen Polito, the lieutenant governor, lieutenant governor is coming out to meet with Comcast and with the MBI and select board mm -hmm. members. And... Uh, I got a call late last week. They were looking for a student that Karen Polito could Skype into while she's out here, to some extent, so the student can thank Karen Polito for the expansion that the state funded to bring Conway to nine towns, uh, all the remaining homes in nine towns. And Phil has gotten his daughter to volunteer to be the student that Karen Polito is going to call. That's great. So. That's great. This, this is going to be exciting. Hopefully, you feel that way after the conversation <laughs> is <hope>. over. <laughs> well, I will. I will be there on Thursday, and, and you will be. Yes. There. Are yeah. you going to be there? Uh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be. I'll be. I'll probably be with her at Frontier doing them. <laughs> that would be great. While that's, okay. That would be great. So. Okay. Yeah, with with like the shepherd's hook, at, uh, <laughs> ten foot shepherd's hook, yep. whatever. Yeah. So we're all okay. hoping this goes well. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and we and, and, and we did this. Uh, we got a call from Steve Kulik, who had gotten a call from the MBI looking for a student. And I okay. was grateful that he called Conway. Good. So, yeah. That's good. I, I mean, I agree with everything that you said. I, I have a hard time seeing her actually thank. <laughs> she, yeah, it takes, it takes d d large denominations to get a thank you. <laughs> yes. She'll step up. You watch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Always good to have a script in case. <laughs> yes. Follow the script. They did. They yeah. will. They do. Yeah. Okay. Which is good. good. All right. <laughs> Next item is mail. Uh, we just have one item. Uh, has this been put on the, on our website and published? And She's just oh. alerting us. No, no, no. That's just a notification of an abutter. The yeah. town. The town being a. a town having land, mm -hmm. somebody's uh, doing some work on a garage abutting town land. Yeah. And she's, she's doing it in the, in the same footprint, so it's, it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. Do you guys want to look yeah. at that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next item, announcements. Do we have any announcements? Anybody have any announcements? No, 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 except for what Bob said for the event in yeah. Pelham, but that's right. an inv invitation. This is, yeah, yeah. This is, it's yeah, going to be it. in a very small room in Pelham, in, yeah, and they're nervous room. about, you know, it may hold 15 people. They're nervous about how many people are going to show up in Pelham. Mm. So, and and I'm, I suspect, you know, there will be plenty of people from the MBI and, and Comcast honchos who want to, yep. you know, be there to... Receive their appreciation from Karen Polito. So, sure. So, so we hope it won't be too crowded. And all the demonstrations from the towns that were not partially served about how <laughs> preferential the treatment was for those that were. <laughs> they can always move to Conway. <laughs> okay. All right. Our next meeting is scheduled for Monday, September 17th, here in the town offices at 6 p.m. If there's no more business to come before the board tonight, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Philip and sure. Robert.